The number of urban disasters are growing worldwide due to urbanization, unsafe conditions in cities, and other global processes that are increasing the number of vulnerable and at-risk people in urban areas. Urbanization is continuing unabated in Africa, but most of the growth is unplanned. African cities are therefore fast becoming disaster hotspots. Though African cities are very diverse, poor people in cities across Africa have always been marginalized. Mamelodi in Pretoria, East South Africa, serves as a good example. Due to colonial and apartheid policies in South Africa, Africans were removed from Pretoria inner city locations to underdeveloped land far removed from the city. In contrast to the well-planned, fully serviced city center, Mamelodi Township enjoyed very little planning, amenities, or infrastructure. As more people migrated to the city, parts of Mamelodi developed into high-density slums. Thus, through the spatial design of South Africa's cities, social, economic, and psychological inequalities were deepened, setting the scene for present and future risk and vulnerability. People have to contend with major events such as flooding and informal settlement fires, as well as everyday vulnerability and risks such as poverty, unemployment, violence and crime, to name but a few. The consequences are occasional loss of lives, but more often it is the poorest of the poor who lose all their assets and livelihood means in an event, leaving them even more vulnerable after such an event. On a city-wide level, the impacts from an event cause a loss in development gain as infrastructure and assets are damaged or destroyed. Funds originally set aside for long-term development then have to be reallocated to short-term disaster relief and reconstruction. It therefore makes sense to invest in resilient cities. Since local governments in Africa are faced with so many developmental challenges as a result of rapid, unplanned urbanization, disaster risk reduction is often not perceived as a priority 